Hello, and uh, this is a very important video. I've been meaning to make this, and I'm letting you all know. So basically, I did a video like this before, uh, which was a month ago. I'm talking about my anger. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that video. I'm not totally sure whether you have or not. Um, but it was quite an important video, because, you know, anger is kind of a quite important in real life. You know, I know that obviously I can't take it loads. You know, I, I find it difficult with my anger problems but this one is kind of a quite similar but it's a bit different and i will try and explain as much as i can before we do begin it's going to be a long video so i will be going on for a long time it will be around the 20 minute mark kind of like the um previous one um and i've been meaning to make one make one of these so before we start um it will be going on every channel uh, because that's what I did do with the anger one. So it will be going on every channel. So, my story is going to be about anxiety. Um, so, I want to talk about my story about uh, anxiety. Um, now, I know that I don't know much about this one, but I will try and explain as much as I can. So, yeah, so my anxiety is kind of like in the middle for me. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about the uh, first thing. So I, I have autism. I've had autism uh, ever since I was little. Um, and it's been quite a tough time with autism. Um, I do find it quite difficult with it. Um, it's kind of a quite difficult, um, I've kind of struggled, uh, I don't know how many years I've struggled with it, um, I don't know about nine years, I should say, but yeah, I, I have struggled kind of a quite a lot with autism, um, I do find it difficult, um, I find difficult to talk to people in real life, uh, if it's like meeting new people, uh, I find it quite difficult, um, what else do I find difficult? Uh, trying out new things, I find that difficult as well. Um, so, um, find that difficult. Uh, I found it difficult when I was walking on my own, uh, when I wasn't doing independent travel. Um, I remember um, I was, uh, I think I was, I was 17 uh, when I uh, started doing independent travel. Uh, and I found that really, really difficult. Uh, and then I did get used to it, so that was really good. Um, yeah, there's kind of a lot, by the way. Uh, back in school, I found it difficult. Um, yeah, just... Uh, even even meeting new friends was... Uh, even... Uh, not not new friends. What meant about, I mean... Uh, making friends. Uh, that was what I was supposed to say. Uh, yeah, making making friends was, was even difficult. Um, Mossbrook was... Um, kind of a quite an old life for me. Um, there was kind of a... A lot of people that I did get used to, and then, you know, I met up with them, and then I just made friends with them. Same as my secondary school, uh, that was difficult, and then I made um, I made a lot of friends in secondary. Uh, yeah, there was a, a lot that I did make back then. Uh, so, yeah, I, I spent, uh, I think I spent six years in, in secondary. Um, and all in all, I managed to get all my friends. Uh, and uh, on college, uh, I've met people in college, um, not many people, um, but I've met people in college, really like it. Um, first time I started college, I was quite, I was quite nervous um, starting, starting up college. Um, uh, I, I, can't, I can actually remember that on the very first day that I started college, uh, it was actually my mum who had to drive me there. Uh, because I was actually still, uh, I was actually independent, uh, I was actually uh, an independent traveller uh, back then. Um, but uh, I was actually quite nervous to travel on my own for the first day of college, like the first day of starting college. So what happened on that on that actual day is my mum my mom actually took me to college on that day um, for the very first time. Um, and I had to get my um, label sorted out and stuff like that, which I ended up doing in the end. Um, and then, and, and then after that, uh, I kind of got used to it then. Um, I kind of got used to uh, doing college and all that, uh, which was good. Uh, I, I, I got used to uh, 
during the day and stuff like that. So, yeah, autism for me, um, it's kind of been stuck with me for all this time um, and it will be up here for all these years to come, uh, even though when I, you know, you know when I don't end up moving out um, in the next few years, um, it will still be there. Uh, it will still be there when I'm going out or meeting people or anything like that. It, like it'll it'll be up here forever, so it'll all be just up there. Um. So. Um, yeah. Uh, difficulties is kind of the next thing that I want to talk about um, about anxiety because uh, difficulty is kind of another thing that I do that I do suffer with. So basically. The thing that I find difficult at the moment is, I, I, I probably will get used to this, I'm not sure whether, whether I will or not, is I find it difficult to talk to people in real life. Um, so uh, if it's, you know, a person that I don't know uh, who I'm actually meeting, uh, you know, I have to get used to them and I don't know, you know, I don't know much else to say. For example, if it's like random girls in real life, you know, I do, I do know, I do know a lot of girls now in real life, you know, I do know a lot of them. Um, but for example, if I, for example, if I like saw a few girls in the street and you know I wanted to you know talk to them about you know things that they do and all that, uh, I would um, I would find that quite nerve wracking because I don't know to be honest I don't I, like I don't even know what what to say to them um, like hello how are you what are you doing you know all that you know that's fine but you know other things you know I I, I will find nerve wracking. Um, and, um, you know, I, I do find that difficult. For example, if I was single, uh, well, I'm actually not, but, like, pretend if I was, and uh, I um, saw a few random girls in real life, and I, I went up to one of them and, you know, said, hello, how are you doing, and all that, I would find that difficult, and that's why uh, I don't talk, that's why I don't meet girls in real, well, uh, well, I meet girls in real life, but obviously I don't, I, you know, I don't go up to them in real life, you know, I, I, don't, I don't do that because I will find that difficult. Like basically talking to a new girl in real life, I, I find so difficult for some reason. Uh, I, I find it quite nerve wracking because I don't know what to say. And that's the reason why I, I, I've, not done, I've not done that over the, over the last few years. Uh, that's the reason why I've not done it because I, I found it difficult. And that's why most of my girlfriends have been online because um, obviously I find online a lot more better rather than real life. I, 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 I find it a lot more better. Um, a lot of people might not might not agree with me on this, but uh, I, I I I find that a lot more better because I, I think it's a lot more better. Uh, and the one that I'm dating right now, uh, I've actually met online, and uh, it feels like that online is a lot more is a lot more better. Um, I I do find it a lot more easier. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of that, guys. Uh, I you know I, I I find it easier. So if you guys think the opposite, then let me know. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a bit of a struggle for me. But a uh, difficulty at the moment, I do find difficult as well. Um, I do find it quite hard to, you know, do things or anything like that. So that's kind of the things. But yeah, there is a lot of difficult things. Um, you know, if I, uh, first time if I travelled on a bus or a tram, you know, I, I, I would find that difficult. Like going on public transport, uh, I would find it annoying. Like going back to, you know, when I first started doing independent travel. Uh, even that was difficult, uh, you know, going on the tram on my own for the first time, going, you know, on the bus on my own for the first time, um, e even going on a train on my own as well, uh, if I was going to, you know, Derby uh, or anything. Anyway, right, where was I? Um, yeah, uh, if I was, you know, going on the train on my own to see my dad in Derby or if I was going to see... You know, my exes, uh, you know, um, uh, a girlfriend that I was with last year, I had to travel on the train there on my own, uh, which was not a bad journey, I may say. It was, you know, all right. I've done that a few times. Uh, but, yeah, a train I do find quite relaxing, um, you know, if it, if it was on your own. Like, like basically, like if, I, like, if I've got my music on on the train, you know, when there's nobody, you know, talking or anything like that in the background, I've got my music on and I'm dancing away like that's kind of quite easy for me if I've got my headphones and that's kind of like quite easy um so yeah I do I do find that really really easy on the train uh I will be doing it very very soon though I want to do when I do go and meet my new bird but obviously that's not yet until lockdown's over again 
uh, yeah, one lockdown is finally finished again. I I will be um hopefully going over there and I will be um meeting up with her. Um, so yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I do plan to do a lot of uh, a lot more train journeys uh, in the future. So I will be I will be doing a lot of that. Um, so hopefully that'll be a thing that I uh, that I will be doing. I mean, public transport for me, uh, I have found quite difficult as well. Uh, but uh, but through the years, uh, through these years, uh, I've I've got used to it. Um, you know, I've got used to travelling. Um, and you know, I know how to get on the tram. I know how to get on a bus. It's just easy to do. Um. Uh, I do struggle with taxes though. Uh, you know, taxes is kind of another thing that I do struggle with at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I, I have been in a taxi on my own a lot before as well. Um, so literally every single transport that I've actually been in, uh, I've been in them all on my own and uh, obviously all of them are quite easy. So all of them are pretty cool. Um, yeah, I do find them okay. Um, heights is another thing that I do find difficult. Um, and another thing that's actually part of anxiety, by the way, um, and actually part of my autism is actually heights. Um, now, basically, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't give. Don't get me wrong on this, guys. But I, but I do not like high rides at all. Um, I find high rides really, really difficult for some reason. Um, and uh, to be honest, at the moment, I don't even bother with rides anymore. Uh, like at uh, Funfair, uh, you know, uh, there is a, a few rides that I do go on in Funfairs, but. Yeah, there's not really a lot of rides that I do go on anymore. You know, I do like the uh, the dodgems, you know, I like them. I like the log flume, you know, I like that. Um, what else do I like over there? The go-karts. Uh, if you remember, I went I went go-karting back in July. Um, and I think it was August, I think it was August as well, wasn't it? I think it was. Um, see, I, I kind of like all them things, but like all the other things, I don't really like them. I like the other big wheel, though. Obviously, I've been, I've been, on, I've been on a lot of them. Uh, I do like that. Um... But yeah, kind of like all the uh, all the fast rides, I, I really don't like them at all. Uh, I don't like the heights of them. Um, I'm not really um, not really into that. Um, so yeah, there's kind of a lot of things that I'm not really into, uh, like compared to you know high things. But yeah, um, you know there's some rides that I do like, some rides that I don't like. Uh, but you know there is a lot that I do like. Um, and at the moment I don't really, I don't really like bother with them anymore now to be honest. Um, but. Yeah, you know, I, I do still like rides on their occasions, but I just don't really like them. So yeah, heights is kind of another thing that I that I do find difficult. Um, especially like if I'm like really high up somewhere and I have to like travel down um like on a rope or something, that's kind of a difficult as well. So uh, that's why I'll I'll be never <laughs> be doing that. Um but yeah, uh so yeah, there's kind of a lot of things that I do find uh, difficult and uh yeah, um, there's kind of a, a lot, a lot in there and, and all that, um, and that. Uh, I think another one that I find difficult is, uh, what, what else? Um, oh yeah, I can't, I can't even ride a bike at the moment. Um, you know, I know that I'm, I'm 20, but I can't even ride a bike. Uh, you know, I do like bike games, I do like them, but I, I just can't ride a bike. Um, you know, I've, I've kind of learned riding a bike for a long time and I just, I, I just can't ride one. So that's another thing, um. Uh, I think surfing is another thing that I uh, I think I I think I believe I did do some surfing a while ago and then I just never did it again. But uh, yeah, uh, surfing is another thing that I find difficult um, as well, uh, especially if it's on like normal uh, sea. I do find that difficult. Uh, oh yeah, another one. By the way, guys, I didn't actually mention this one. Swimming. Uh, swimming is another one. Um, so uh, at the moment, guys, I c I can't swim currently. Um, I've I've tried you know, doing swimming lessons and, and stuff like that, but I, I, I just can't swim. I, I don't know why I can't. I, I, find, I find that difficult. I can't swim. Um, so I can go underwater, you know, that's no problem, especially if I've got goggles on, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but I can't swim, um, and I don't know why I can't. Uh, I've, I've done it before and, and stuff like that, but I just can't. So another way I can do it is basically having something in front of me uh, so I can swim with that in front of me rather than doing that but with nothing in front of me, so I can't do that. But if there's something in front of me, though, that, that means I can swim with, with, with that. So that is another way that I can do it. Going underwater, though, uh, it's kind of a not a problem. Uh, I really don't mind going underwater. Uh, that's kind of a not a problem at all. Um, I, I, I do find that quite easy to uh, to do. Uh, you know, water slides and stuff like that, I, I really, really, really love them. Uh, they're just, like, really, really cool. Um, 
Uh, I think I think the best one I think has got to be Barnsley. Uh, yeah, I think Barnsley one's got to be the best one uh, because uh, that one's got uh, that one's got um some really good slides that one. Uh, so that that one's a really good one. Uh, also Ponds Forge. Uh, I really love that one as well. Um, I also there was um I also there was uh, a one that went on. Uh, I think I think this was a was it a Butlins or something? I, I can't remember. Uh, but I actually went on uh, another slide when I went on uh, when I went on holiday. Uh, that was a really good slide that I went on as well. So I don't remember going on that one. I think I, th I think that was a couple of years ago that one. Uh, but yeah, I've I've been on a lot of slides when I've been swimming. But uh, you know, I just can't get swimming lessons. Um, you know, I know that I've done it, but I I just can't. I I I just find it difficult. So that's another thing that I find difficult. So yeah, when you think about it, there's a lot there. Um, uh, also another one. Um, I can't go in net. Uh, well, I'm not even a goalkeeper. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm actually a striker. Um, but yeah, a couple of years ago, I, I actually went in the net. Uh, because I was actually forced to go in the net. Uh, this was actually back in school, and I did not like it at all. Going going in net. Uh, I did not like it. Uh, well, apparently I, I was actually forced to go in net, unfortunately, but I did not like it uh, at all. Uh, so that will not be happening ever again because I hate going in net. It's just really annoying that as well. Uh, yeah, I really, yeah, I really like that as well. Um, so yeah, um, there's a lot of things that I do, I do not like, guys. Uh, just so many things, and uh, that's why my anxiety, um, brings on my problem at the moment. Um, for example, with autism, uh, you know, autism is kind of the the main one at the moment. Uh, autism is the main one. Uh, not like all the others, but the autism is kind of the main one. Um. Also, another thing that I that I that I do do this this is actually part of my autism, uh, is I um I talk to myself, which is part of my autism, and also I um I do things to myself like if I'm you know doing that or if I'm you know patting my legs or uh, what uh, what else do I do like if I'm doing like that or anything like kind of all that so yeah I do all that as well and that's part of my autism as well. Um, yeah, that's all part of it as well. Or, or if I'm doing this, look. That's part of it as well. So, yeah, there is kind of a lot of part of autism, um, which I do like as well. But I think the main one, uh, I think it's got to be talking to talking to yourself. Uh, because I've, I, I've done that for I've, I've done that for a long time. And I, I just love talking on my own. I just find it really, really easy. Uh, I just find it really cool and that. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just find that uh, really easy as well, um, with compared to the others. But yeah, uh, talking to yourself, I, I do find quite easy as well. Um, and that is, you know, part of it um, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, you know, there is a lot of it in there that, you know, I do find difficult. Um, and, you know, to, to be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm sorry really that I, that I do these things. Um, it's just because that... Obviously, autism is kind of the, you know, it's kind of the main one um, that obviously is making me, you know, troubled at the moment. Um, and it's the one that I that I do find easy to, you know, solve and all that. And, you know, it's kind of like up there anyway to, you know, loads of different people. And I'm, I'm sorry that I, that I do it. Um, but, you know, it's part of me. Um, and obviously, I can't go out of control of my autism because, uh, you know, I've got to keep it, in, I've got to keep it in control. That's what I've got to do. And, you know, if, I, if I've got problems, then that is part of the autism. You know, I've had a lot of problems back back in the past. I've had, you know, so many and I've got to, you know, do them on my own, which I have done. You know, I've achieved all, all of them on my own without any help. I've had, I've had a bit of help from my friends, but most of it I have done on my own. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just happy to, uh, you know, be where I am right now. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a happy relationship right now, which I'm really really glad about with this beautiful fiance i'm with uh i've got you know really good friends i've met a lot of friends and stuff like that you know they help me out on a lot of things um and a lot of stuff in you know real life uh that's not part of youtube i you know do all the all of that as well um so yeah there's kind of just a lot uh, 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 and i'm at a really good college right now um as well doing a really good course kind of a lot i'm doing football right now i'm part of a team uh, as well, so I'm doing that sort of things. So yeah, there's kind of a lot that I'm currently doing right now, and I'm just loving 
the life at the moment, uh, you know, I know that I'm 20 right now, but, you know, I'm still liking it, you know, it goes back to when I was like, you know, like when I was a 15 year old or, or anything like that, but I'm, I'm still liking my young age right now, um, to be honest with you, um, and you know, I'm, I'm still really liking what I'm doing, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep up the pace of what I'm doing, uh, and I'm just going to do what I like, uh, you know, I love YouTube, I'm going to keep doing YouTube videos, I love doing that, and I'm just going to keep what I'm, what I'm going to do, by the way. So that is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to keep up with my um with my life that's going forward at the moment. So let's let's just keep going forward, and keep going with the pace. So yeah, uh, there we are, guys. Uh, that is that is my video, my anxiety video. Uh, I've been meaning to do one of these, uh, for quite a long time, um, and we're now finally at the end of it, which is uh, which is good. So uh. Yeah, um, you know, I really wanted to do one of these, um, and obviously I know that I've not done it, um, but I just really wanted to do it to let you guys all know about it, um, and yeah, uh, if you do have any questions about it, let me know in the comments down below if you want to ask me anything, and I will get to them, um, and do what, let me let me know, but hopefully uh, you guys all do understand uh, about what, you know, what my life is currently at the moment, with my uh, anxiety and my autism and the other things, um, that I've kind of gone through and um, I just trying to find it easy and you know that's what I'm doing right now so uh, yeah hope you enjoyed thanks for watching as I mentioned it'll be going on all four channels so stay tuned if you want to watch them all on every single channel so yeah thanks for watching and understanding about this and I will uh, see you later